All right, good morning. Uh, forgive me, I don't have my stick pick uh, trekking pole attachment fixed yet, but uh, I'll get it fixed here soon. But anyway, finally getting out of Fontana Dam. Uh, got there, and I got the lodge, and I, you know, I stayed there, and then we stayed in the shelter the next night because it was storming. It was going to storm that night. And then I woke up in the middle of the night on my zero day, and I just started uh, running, running hot. You know, I had like a fever, so I stayed around in my tent all day yesterday. Woke up, and I feel like a million bucks today. So I get, you know, I was really dehydrated. I had no energy at all. But um, uh, but yeah, so I feel a whole lot better now. But I'm walking across the Fontana Dam now. You see the water's low. I'll get you guys a good view of the, the actual dam down here. If you guys can see it. But, uh, yeah, they got a little visitor center back there. And I'm about to hit the... Great Smoky Mountain National Park in about a quarter of a mile. I can see the sign from here. Uh, so I'll try to get some videos out. I know you guys are wondering where my videos are at. So um, it's just uh, I tried to get one out. Uh, you know, the, the night that I was uh, sick, but you know, the, my LTE or Verizon it wouldn't it wouldn't go through. But today's uh, March 23rd about maybe uh i don't know 21 22 days in already and i'm crossing uh fontana dam going to the smokies finally all right i'll see you guys on the trail all right guys i'm about 5.5 in to the smokies and uh at a fire tower called shuckstack and uh it's probably about my favorite spot so far you know i've been to clemens dome and just clemens dome has uh got a lot of a lot of touristy people, you know, walking up and down and stuff, and you really can't get a good view. But let me get down here and get you guys a good view here. It's windy today. I don't know how many feet this thing's off the ground, but... Made it uh, 15 miles today from uh, Fontana Dam to Russell Field Shelter. And these are pretty much what the shelters look like in the Smokies. You know, they usually don't have this tarp up here, but during the winter time, they put them up here to keep the wind out. Hear the old coyote in the background? He's real close. A little pack of them. Anyway, this is what they look like. Let's see if we can get some of these coyotes. Let's see. Let's see if we see them. I gotta go down there and fight some coyotes off to get some water, so I gotta be careful. All right. See you guys on trail. All right, uh, just left Russell Field Shelter. Put in 15 miles yesterday. 
Uh, slept in a tent. Yeah, I kind of tossed and turned all night because the wind was kind of roaring. It was real loud, and I didn't want to put my earplugs in because, you know, it just, uh, you know, they make my ears sore and up against the pillow and all that, you know, so I kind of toughened it out. But anyway, I left this morning at 9 o'clock. It is now March the 24th, second day in the Smokies. Uh, we'll try to put 15 today in. So uh, I still feel a little dehydrated. Um, so, so I'm just going to keep drinking water and kind of take it easy today. I think I did a little bit too much yesterday. No, it just really depends. But anyway, uh, I'm really not feeling it today. I'm, I'm kind of over this cold weather, you know, getting up in the morning. It really, it really takes a toll on your body, you know, and, and, and your morale. You know, you hike in the cold, you camp in the cold, you get up in the cold. And you just, it's just like a, you know, just a cycle. So uh, I think I just need a day off and give me a good shower and get my morale back up. But uh, hopefully, hopefully the next couple of weeks they'll start to hurry up and warm up, you know. I, I, don't, I don't get it. All right, I'll see you guys on the trail. All right, good morning. I'm uh, just leaving Sellers Bald Shelter. Uh, it's March 25th. This is my um, third day in the Smokies. I put 15 in first day, 15 in the second day, and then now today I'm gonna put in the third, uh, excuse me, it'd be, be 10 miles uh, third day. And then uh, I'll be in Gatlinburg today. So uh, my advice is to maybe try to get to that first shelter molly's ridge and then skip any other shelter you know skip every other shelter and then your uh your third day you'll be at mount collins and all you got to do is wake up and take a like a three four mile hitch or excuse me three four mile hike into uh, newfound gap um but i got to do an extra ten, uh, five miles a day because i did like i said i did two 15s and a 10. <clears throat> so but anyway um, it's rainy out here and it's not looking good. I'm not going to get a good view at uh, Clemens Dome. So what I'll do is I'll just take a picture of it and just keep on going. I've been up there before. Uh, so sorry if you guys are not going to get a view. Um, but uh, yeah, it's about 730, 730-ish, March 25th. See you guys on the trail.
Well guys, I made it to Clemens Dome. See it behind me? I won't be walking up there. There's nothing to see. Uh, it's just, just too, uh, just, just too rainy and foggy today. But uh, this is actually my, actually my third time being here. And you can see, you can see as far as Mount Mitchell. Uh, but uh, like I said today, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't see anything. I got another 7.7 .7 miles to go to Newfound Gap. Which I'm gonna try to get into Gatlinburg, get a hotel room, stay the night, and then tomorrow kind of mess around, maybe do some laundry, and you know maybe get my hair cut. I don't know, maybe shave my beard. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, but just kind of mess around, eat a little bit, get rejuvenated, and then, then uh, right after Newfound Gap, north of Newfound Gap is uh, Ice Water Shelter, which is about three, four miles. So if I get there late, you know, no big deal. But uh, that's that's my plan. And it really depends on if it's really, really coming down tomorrow as far as the rain because it's supposed to come in uh i'll just take a zero day i really don't want to take a zero day but um because i've already took four of them three three because of weather and one because of you know a little stomach bug but uh well let me go ahead and finish eating my peanut butter and honey crackers and uh see you guys on the trail